Hey folks, and welcome back to Deadly Premonition. Okay, now last time we finished up at the A&G Diner here. And um, I came out and I ran over here to save. And I restored, you know, I resumed the game today. And where the hell is my car? Where is my car? Is, is that it? No, that's, that's just a random station wagon. That's not my car. Can I steal this car? Damn. <laughs> no, I cannot steal Nick's car. Damn it. Okay. So, um, I need a, I need a, I need my car. I guess I could use a flare if I had to. Um, unless, 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 unless the game ever so helpfully, uh, brought my car to where I saved, which is entirely possible. Let's see. I mean, I didn't even think to look. And see if my car was here. No, no, my car is not here. Oh, oh, but there is um there is some money here. So I'll take that. Um, crap. Where's my car? <laughs> this kinda sucks. Where's my car? <laughs> I have no car. Um, okay. I can uh Okay, the sheriff's office is over this way. So, um if I run over there. I'll just uh, hotwire another cruiser, and it'll it'll be okay. It'll be fine. I can I can get where I need to get, and it'll it'll be fine. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'll, I'll take the uh, the fun V here. Actually, I think I'm gonna go by Carol's Bar first. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is how I get. Uh, hi, am I coming? Okay. So, since it quit raining, um, people are actually out on the street now. So I'm kind of having to. Oh, shh. <laughs> look out! Look out! Everybody, look out! Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah. Uh. Boy, uh, this is this is not good. This thing steers like a. Wow. Oh, sorry, dude. Sorry. Maybe I should turn the lights on, so people will know to get the hell out of my way. <laughs> uh, surely the bar is not closed. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll just, just park right here in the middle of the road. And get out. Let's see, it's over here. Ah, it's open, good. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll just... Oh, can't go in there. Oh, but I can go in here. There we go. So we'll gather a little bit of information in here, and then we'll go back to the hotel and do whatever it is that we need to do there. Okay, is that George? That's George. Hi, George. Oh, how? Maybe I can. Uh... Excuse you. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll make sure and do that. Okay, George. Mm -hmm. Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't want Arnold back. Okay. Anybody else worth talking to here? Bunch of a uh, bunch of locals, bunch of extras. Oh, there's Carol. Hi. I'm not gonna bother her right now. She's she's busy. Well, okay, that was kind of pointless. Unless there's something to do back here. Why don't I just uh 
help myself here. Hi, excuse me. That is uh, okay. Mirror. What's here? A stabilizer. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, what's in here? Nothing. All right, let me out. So by this time tomorrow, I will be on my way up to the other side of Houston for the Houston Con. As you might know, I have a table there. It is my first solo con. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. Oh, okay. Is, is she done singing? No, she's not. Okay, well... She's busy. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to head back to the hotel. I'm going to steal George's car. Maybe I can do that. Where's your car, George? No, nope, I'll just... I'll take the fun V. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, why don't I just hop the curb? Can I do that? And just take this hard left turn here. There we go. Yeah. All right. And just head on to the hotel and do what I need to do there. Uh, excuse me. Sunday driver. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. Oh crap. It's this way, right? I think it's this way. One of these days I will learn my way around here. Ah yes, this is it. Excuse me. Oh shit. <laughs> Just as I get used to driving the car, this happens. I can't drive this thing. Ah, yeah, there, there's a glowy thing there, so this is where I need to be. Take out a cone. <laughs> ah, typewriter. <laughs> Generic typewriter. Oh, wow, that is an old-fashioned typewriter there, York, too. It doesn't even doesn't have a daisy wheel, doesn't have the little uh, ribbony thing. Nothing. Okay, then, Zach. Okay. Let's go back over our progress. Yes, let's. First the victim. Mm hmm Anna's death. Mm hmm She was found hanging from a tree in the forest. Uh, yeah, to say the least. She was cut open with a knife from her chest yeah, down to her stomach. Yeah, that's that's there. Yeah, that was the direct cause of death. The strangulation marks and skull fracture were caused after death. Uh huh. Her tongue was also bit off, and I found something inside her mouth. Flower petals. Do you remember what that yes, was? Yes, it was Zach? flower petals. It was flower petals. Yes, uh, a red seed. There we go. That's right. Okay, it was we a seed. I thought it looks like a petal. Okay. According to Emily, it was raining when Anna was killed. Uh huh. But traces of tears were still evident on her face. Yeah. Which means the perpetrator killed Anna under a roof in the lumber mill, mm -hmm. and then carried her body into the woods after it stopped raining. Right. We found numerous important pieces of evidence at the site of the crime. A total of four things. Okay. Knee prints in the grass. Right. Wood chip wood of chip metal, metal dust. dust. And the picture Photo of the, um, two on his back shit. One other thing. Oh, the heel. The heel. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a broken stiletto heel. That's right. 
a broken stiletto heel. Aligning this with the other evidence suggests that two people came into contact with Anna's body mm -hmm. prior to it being discovered by us. Those being the perpetrator who killed Anna and the stiletto heel. There is also the possibility that a third party carried Anna to the woods. Right. That means we could be dealing with three people. Okay. Two or three people. In any case, Miss Stiletto here. Who? Have my money is on Carol for we that. Need to find her next. Since you know they made a big deal out of showing her at the Stiletto heels, methods, but, but you know we're still closing in on the criminal. <sighs> dot, 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 dot. Have I forgotten anything? Um. Oh, of course. Yeah, all this shit from the sawmill. The marks on her hand tell us that Anna was gripping something when she died. Oh yeah, that too. Do you remember that? Yes, time? I do. What do you think she was holding on to? It was that uh, upside down peace sign thing. Something round, yes. That's right. A round object. A round thing. The marks on her hand suggest a peace mark. Mm -hmm. The man in the photo found in the woods had a tattoo of an upside down peace mark on his back. Do you well think related. so? But we don't know for <laughs> sure. Next, the town folk. Uh -huh. A few are worthy of special oh, attention. Oh, yeah. Carol McLean, the singer and bar owner. She's Thomas's sister. And she has stiletto heels. Then there's Nick Cormack, the owner of the bar. And he's totally hiding Both something. Both of them seem to be yes, hiding thank you, York. something. There's Diane, the owner of the art gallery. Who's the Walking Twin Peaks reference. Then we have problematic old rich Oh and yes, and Mary. his little Both friend. Will be tough to crack. Well, we just have to go one by his one. His little friend Michael. I've been thinking. One of the biggest rewards here is the fantastic food. <laughs> Enjoying food is cultural, and yet it's also a bit uncivilized. Hey, speak for yourself. It's interesting how good food motivates me to work harder during uh, investigations. Oh, we could stand to shave, too. Oh, and on Emily's back, um, it was strange to me. Hey, don't take that all the wrong All the uh, way, angelic clarinet music that was playing? Or anything. Yeah, uh-huh. Sure, you, but yeah. But it did make me feel strange. Nostalgic and sad, almost. Oh, God. starting to rain. Huh. Great, the town's gonna roll up the sidewalks this again. this case may take a while. Ellie! Lunchtime, Ellie! Huh? I'll eat later! You'll eat right now, young lady. You need to listen to uh, your mother. Okay, the kid's I name is the Emily. The story. Eat your lunch, then take a nap. Then... I'll tell you okay. the Okay. But I want to hear it now. There's no need to rush things. You must live your life at the pace that is right okay. for you. Okay. Honey! Are you coming? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now what do we have here? Aww. What a considerate pet owner. Oh. Another Miss Stiletto heel. Isn't that nice? He has a dog house in the back of his truck so his dog doesn't get wet when it's raining. That is so considerate. And oh, oh. Hello, red plant. Oh, what do we have? I think we're done with our chapter. Dinner cleared. Okay. Whoop-dee-doo. Yes, I wish to... Oh, that's episode one. Oh, we're back here again, are we? Isaac and Isaiah. Are you thirsty? No, no, not really. You must be very thirsty. Well, maybe a little. You only take milk with your coffee. Ah. 
Oh, there we go. That's good. Milk. That's all. Uh, hi. Oh yeah, this is totally not a Black Lodge reference here. Oh god. Who are you? My name is Becky. Oh, hello Becky. Anna's friend, okay. What are you doing here? My name is Okay. Becky. Meanwhile, Anna's friend. My name All right. is Becky. Becky's got a little of a one track mind. You must do what you must do. Take a sip of coffee and go. Oh, <laughs> well, excuse me. Ah, coffee. Uh huh? huh? And the door has opened, okay. And there go the angels, and there goes my name is Becky. Alright. I'll take the lollipop. Sure, why not? Uh, oh, cookie. Yes, I would like a cookie. Thank you. I think I deserve a cookie for putting up with all this. Check the TV. Nope. Can't can't check the TV. Okay. That's is that new? Nope. Okay. Anything new here? Oh. Okay. Well, that's just uh. Okay, yeah. Can we... Can I go through the door? Okay. There's this kid again. Oh. This is different. Nothing uh, interesting over here. Hi, kid. Hi. That's me. That's what I thought. That's me when it happened. What happened? No, no, don't be vague blogging at me, York. Come on. What happened? Ah. Oh, he's gonna wake up. Come on, now. Yes. Bright light. Sunlight. Get your ass out of bed. Zach, this case looks like it's Were you sleeping in your belt and your slacks, York? Seriously? I do not know how yet, but I do know I need some coffee. <laughs> Man after my own heart. George said he'd have someone pick us up in the parking oh, lot. Oh, God. Let's get some breakfast with Polly Yeah, let's first. do that. Okay. Let's check the weather. No, Okay. I'm going to go shave, is what I'm going to do. In this gigantic bathroom. There we go, that's better. Ah, there we go. Much better. Yeah, I get paid for that, of course. Okay, let's go hit Polly up for some breakfast, and then I'm going to save and we're going to call it a day after that. <laughs> Whoa there! Uh, hi. You have a dog on your butt. Did you need something? Oh, it's this guy. No, I was just passing by. 
I didn't think anybody oh my else God, was it's here Gabe other than Polly. The door opening like that just, it surprised me, that's all. Okay, hi. Forest case and sampling salesman. That's a very interesting plant you have there, friend. I'm Kaysen, Forest Kaysen. Uh-huh. Nice to meet you. I travel a whole lot, you see, uh -huh. selling tree samples. Uh-huh. Just the usual salesman doing sure. the usual road trip. Sometimes I feel, I don't know, like a jolly old okay. bumblebee Can FBI you please Special spread Agent your Francis pollen York somewhere else? I get it. You're the special agent oh Scarface my God, that everyone's dude. yakking about. Nice to meet you, Francis. Oh. Special Agent Scarface? I'd need a bigger scar to live up to that name. Call me York. That's what everyone calls me. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got it. York. Okay, well, he seems friendly Is enough. Is this your first visit here, then? He's got no, a sir. very Actually, suspicious... Oh, God, the whistling song. Now. I don't get much business here, but uh. it sure does make a fine vacation. I mean, it's a gorgeous hotel. Yeah, true that. Price. True that. It's so relaxing in these parts too. Hey, can I have oh, that I tree? Can I have that nature. sampling? I feel so relaxed. I think that may here. be evidence. Hi. Good dog. Say hi to Willie. Oh, don't worry. Aww. He's a good boy. Do you like dogs? Hey, Willie. How are you doing? Yeah, I guess that's a yes. He's pretty smart too. Good for him. Before I forget, let me give you this. Ah, uh, yes, a thank of you. What I uh, thank you. Uh huh. How kind of you. York, you dumbass, look at it. Uh, uh, where did that so come what from? Brings the old FBI out here. He, like <laughs> where did that other one come from? A leader, <laughs> he actually. pulled it out of his pants leg. The perpetrator is still out there. Try to stay indoors at night and during the rain. We want to prevent yeah. it from happening again, okay? Yeah. Oh, it's a darn shame. Places like this used to be the safest in oh, America. God. Could I ask you something? Do you know a lot about seeds? I bet he does. Seeds? Gardening, huh? You don't look like a green thumb. No. But let me tell you, though. Oh, God. I'm pretty much the only one who can make those saplings. Uh-huh. There's a trick to it that can't really be passed on you know yeah it's like oh the secret of making a good smoked ham something like that but you know once you know, they hate, i you didn't don't need to do much you can the, um, leave it be and why it'll turn the into the raincoat dude tree, no did not look happens. anywhere near that kind of like those stocks though. that politicians buy that just keep growing and growing well you just wait and see this town is i think they already that. do dude right we were just about to go take a morning stroll, so... Uh-huh. Good luck now with that case. Thanks. Okay. Zach, do you remember what the coffee said? F-K, that's right. Forrest Kaysen. F-K. Mm -hmm. This show has just begun. And here I thought that was just some one-off, goofy thing. Okay, can I take the sampling? Okay. No, I guess I can't. Alright. Let's go get us some food. And then save. But yes, definitely food. Now, I'm, I'm curious. I don't know if it was just my imagination or stuff was getting more expensive. Oh, cookies. No, I don't think it is. Okay. I think that was just my imagination. Open. Oh boy, here we go again. Breakfast A sandwich looks as good as for breakfast. I hope you enjoy it. I will, and thank you. Yes. I just Polly met Kinson, is as actually. deaf as can be. Ah. Oh. Good old Mr. Kaysen. Did he give you a sample? Yes, he did. As a matter of fact, he did. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me he gives one to everyone he meets. No, no. Only to the people he feels comfortable okay. with. Okay. He told me. He must feel really comfortable with me. Oh, dear. Oh, he God. Must. Is there anyone he hasn't given a sapling to? Mustard? Okay, oh, I'll just get Polly. it from the kitchen then. No, mustard has nothing to do with it. Polly, please. 
I was wondering if you know of anyone that Kaysen didn't give a sapling to. Oh, too much pepper. Polly. I did think it might be. I'm sorry. Polly, no. Oh, Zach, I forgot. We'll never get anything out of her, will we? <laughs> yes, Polly could make any interrogator Forrest cry. Kaysen. He's hiding something. Nah, you think? You think so too, Oh, right, hells yeah. But no need to rush. All secrets are hidden until they are inevitably divulged. Well, yes, that is what a secret is. Powers of entropy. The world exposes everything and causes chaos. Just like this uh, one. Yeah, coffee does cause a considerable amount of chaos now and then. And FK is back. Okay. Yay, I'm full. Okay, so, um, any other time of day you can come in here. All this food is here. See all this food? See all this delicious food? If you haven't been watching the series, look at all this. Look at all this food. You see all this food? York will not eat this shit. He won't touch it. See? He won't, he won't eat it. Look at all this food. Look at these desserts. He'll get the coffee. He'll get the coffee all day. He won't touch the food. So if you're hungry and you have no food on you and it's some odd hour of the day or whatever, you go in here, you ain't going to get shit. You're going to have to go over here and buy a $35 cracker. That's right. That's how you're going to get fed if you don't, yeah. So, okay. We're going to save, folks. We're going to call it a day. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.